Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. We're going to draw an ice cream cone today, one of my favorite things. Um, and it's going to involve a couple shapes. One of the first shapes is going to be sort of a cylinder, but the cone really isn't an exact cylinder. It's sort of a combination cone and cylinder. So, curvy on the bottom, going up on the sides, tapering up and getting wider. These, these lines are sort of diverging. Converging means when they're coming together. Diverging means when they're going apart. Now, above, on this part here, let's go up here and make another curve. Now I'm making the old kind of cone. Now, this is the cone. A lot of times down here on the bottom, they'll have sort of uh, lines that that crisscross this is one of those waffle cones kind of waffly right here anyway now let's look at the ice cream itself there's a drip of it coming off let's put a little a little ice cream on the tabletop okay <laughs> Now, I'm going to make this chocolate, I think, but first let's decide what colors would be best for making our cone. That cone's kind of tan, a light tan. The problem is, all I've got is a yellow and a brown. I don't have that light tan. I do have an orange. So I might do some mixing of colors to try to get it just right. So I think I'm going to start with what might be the darkest part of my cone. So I'm going to make one side of the cone darker. I'm going right over my pencil lines because they're going to show through. I'm going to add some shading to the right side of the top. It's a little darker here, shadow created by the top part here. Now, let's go to that orange and see if that orange doesn't look too weird. Going back into the brown with the orange, so the two mix together a little bit before I start coming out. Let's try that yellow back into the orange, even back into the brown sometimes with the yellow before coming out. With my cone. With my yellow. So here is my sort of cone, right? Now let's look at that chocolate. Hmm. What do I have for brown? I have two different browns. One of them is a little lighter than the other. I think I'm going to start with a darker brown and make the chocolate that's closest to the cone. It's going to be darkest there because the contour, see how this comes around? The light gets blocked at the part where this circle kind of, this sphere sort of goes back underneath again. So that's going to be dark. Following the contour over here. Contour up here. Let's get in there with that other brown. It's okay to leave highlights, lighter places and darker places. It makes your drawing more three-dimensional. makes it more interesting than just coloring in. When we're little kids, we take a crayon and just color things in. Things aren't always one flat color. There's a little bit of ice cream dripping on the table here, and it's melted. And it's just sort of there. I have a little reflection on that, where that's just there. Okay, and this is just sort of floating in space. Now I could add a little background color to make it stand out if I want to. 
get that a few lines. Remember that I start at the object and pull away so I don't have the danger of going into my object with that background color. Here's a sort of ice cream. This isn't designed to look like it's sitting on a table. This is just sort of the idea of an ice cream cone. Maybe the edge. There's an edge here, perhaps. Because there's a surface down here that it's dripping on. Okay. See you next time.